On the 29th of December, in Voronezh, a significant milestone was reached when a heavy cargo aircraft, known as the first IL-96-400T, took to the skies after more than 10 years in storage. This historic aircraft, carrying registration number RA-96101, is expected to join the Red Wings fleet through its subsidiary, Skygates Airlines. This development follows the successful revival of its sister aircraft, RA-96103, a year earlier in December 2023, which was also built by the Voronezh Aircraft Production Association, VASO, in 2009. During the test flight, an interesting incident occurred. According to unofficial reports, the crew encountered electronic warfare interference while flying at 31,000 feet, approximately 92 kilometers from Ulyanovsk Airport. The navigation systems showed incorrect information, prompting a safe return to Voronezh. The IL-96-400T extends the fuselage of the long-haul IL-96-300 by 9.35 meters. Four PS-90A-1 engines power the aircraft, which can reach a maximum takeoff weight of 270 tons. Russia has built a total of 32 IL-96 family aircraft, including four in the IL-96-400T cargo configuration. The first IL-96-400T aircraft, RA-96103, was built at Vaso in 2009 under an order from the leasing company Ilyushin Finance Co. and delivered to the airline Polet that same year. After Polet ceased operations in May 2013, all three of its IL-96-400Ts, along with a fourth identical aircraft built for Polet but not yet operational, were placed in storage at the Vaso airfield. Two of these planes were later converted into special passenger configurations and transferred to government customers in 2015 and 2016, while the remaining two remained in preservation. Notably, after Pulitz operations ended, the RA-9613 aircraft continued flying sporadically. It took part in a series of flights for the development of the IL-96400 TZ tanker aircraft program towards the end of 2014 and the beginning of 2015. The RA-96101 aircraft's history is even more intricate. It began in the early 1990s when the Ilyushin Aviation Complex started developing modifications of the long-haul, wide-body passenger aircraft Il-96-300. During the early operational phase, the PS-90A engines and some navigation systems on the IL-96-300 were not highly reliable. To address this, the government supported the development of a long-haul, wide-body passenger aircraft with increased seating capacity, the IL-96M, equipped with American-made engines and avionics. The government also developed a cargo version, the IL-96T, alongside the passenger IL-96M. This variant featured a large cargo hatch, 4.85 by 2.875 meter, on the left side of the fuselage and could transport up to 92 tons of payload over 5,200 kilometers, or 40 tons over 12,000 kilometers. The Voronezh factory completed the first IL-96T with Pratt & Whitney PW2337 engines and Collins avionics, designated RA-96101, in the spring of 1997. Test pilots Stanislav Bliznyuk and Anatoly Nishov conducted its maiden flight on May 16, 1997. Testing continued despite funding challenges, and the CIS Aviation Register certified the IL-96T to AP-25 standards on March 31, 1998. At Aeroflot's request, the L-96T underwent additional certification testing to meet the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration FAA requirements, becoming the first Russian commercial jet certified under U.S. FAR 25 standards. On July 7, 1999, Aeroflot was formally awarded the American Type Certificate A-54NM for the aircraft. The A-54NM certificate signifies that a particular aircraft has met all necessary FAA standards for airworthiness, allowing it to operate legally within U.S. airspace. However, due to a lack of funds to purchase imported engines and systems for subsequent aircraft, the IL-96T's story effectively came to an end. The grounding of RA-961-01 followed its demonstration at the Paris Air Show in 1999 and MAX-99. The Voronezh factory later relocated it and removed its American components. This situation led to the concept of an import substitution version, the IL-96-400T, featuring domestically produced components. 
the PW2337 engines were replaced with upgraded PS90A1 engines with 17.4 tons of thrust and Russian avionics were reinstated. The CIS Aviation Register certified the redesigned aircraft in April 2008 after it made another flight in March. The CIS Aviation Register conducted most certification tests on a similar aircraft, RA96102, built a year earlier. In autumn 2009, two IL-96400Ts began commercial cargo operations with Polet alongside another similar aircraft, RA-96103, until May 2013. Following the imposition of Western sanctions in the early spring of 2022, there was a decision to restore the airworthiness of the two remaining IL-96400Ts. At that time, they were RA-96103 to the VASO assembly line for necessary work. Airbridge Cargo, a part of the Volga Dnieper Group, anticipated that this aircraft would begin cargo operations by June 2023. The group's fleet, comprising 13 Boeing 747-8Fs, 4 Boeing 747-400Fs, and 1 Boeing 777-F, had been grounded at Shermetievo Airport since late February 2022. Volga Dnieper publicly announced these plans in spring 2023, and VASO repainted RA-96103 in Airbridge cargo livery. The company also expected to receive a second aircraft, RA-96101, in early 2024. However, plans appear to have changed. According to a Commerceant report in July 2023, both aircraft are now being prepared for Skygates Airlines, which lost its two Boeing 747-400Fs last year. At that time, Skygates operated only one IL-76TD, Commerceant also mentioned that Red Wings might soon acquire Skygates Airlines, converting it into its cargo division. As per Flight Radar 24, on August 21st, RA-96103 took off from Voronezh to Ulyanovsk, likely for repainting in its new operator's colors at the Spectre Avia facility before starting commercial operations. Meanwhile, in Voronezh, the restoration of the RA-96101 continued, with the aircraft expected to return to service in 2024. This plane finally flew on December 29, 2024. Now, do you think Russia will ever build more of IL-96400T in the future? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us